Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do something a little different today. It's going to be a fall 90s supermodel kind of inspired look. If you watch Pixie Woo, you've probably seen their tutorial on 90s supermodel inspired makeup. I love 90s makeup. Um, so yeah, but we're going to go ahead and get started. because. I so I'm going to use a primer. This is Max Skin Based Visage Primer. Um, just a tiny bit of that to help smooth out where my skin is a lot more. Um, my pores are really big in this area, my T-zone area. So I'm just putting some of that there. Revlon Color Stay. I'm going to shake it up. Revlon Color Stay is like a classic for me. My mom used to use this. My grandma uses it. If you want more full coverage, use a flat a plain paint brush looking foundation brush. Those will give you the most full coverage. Um, if you use something that's fluffy like this, it's going to really buff the foundation out and make it look more like your skin. That's not a bad thing, but when you want full coverage, you don't want to lose the coverage by buffing it out too much. The only thing I don't like about this foundation is it creases right here, very easy. So I'm trying not to cake that up too much around that area. And I think I might have put too much foundation on my face. Yeah, I put too much on my face. 90s is my favorite decade though. I grew up in the 90s. Um, I hate when people are like, oh, I love the 90s and they were born in like 98. Like people in the 90s, their eyebrows were very dark. They had really dark eyebrows, I feel like. I feel like their eyebrows were really like dramatic. Either they were super skinny and pointy or they were like really, really thick, like Brooke Shields. So I'm using Makeup Forever Aqua Brow. Not for any particular reason, I just miss using it. My eyebrows are pretty strong all the time anyway though. So this is not anything new to me. Strong was the name of the game in 90s. You were a strong woman with some strong brows. <laughs> In the 90s, my mom had really long nails, like super long nails, and they were always red. Always. I haven't had my eyebrows, like, done professionally in so long. It makes me really, really sad. I don't know, guys. How do you feel about these strong brows? I don't wear eyeshadow, but I'm going to do eyeshadow for this look um, because I never wear eyeshadow. So, I'm going to take Saddle by MAC. And I'm gonna put that all over the eye. I'm going to use a Sigma E25 brush. Okay, so that's what I have so far. And now we're going to line our eyes. This is something I never do. I'm doing a smoky eye with liner. Crazy. An eyeliner from NYX, it's this one. So I'm gonna try it out and see how it is. I've never used this before. Hopefully it's not too hard. Wish me luck. This is the Curve Liner. Ooh, fancy, fancy. If you're not too hip to eyeliners, like if you mess up all the time, like I do, your best bet is to get something like this with a skinny felt tip so that you're not like getting your eyeliner all over the place. Do I like that or no? I always do my left side of my face better than my right. Yeah. I always end up making my wings longer than I want them to be. So I'm also going to line the bottom. This is a lot of liner that I got going on here. I actually may take these wings down some because I feel like they're gonna be super long for the look that I'm doing, but. All right. I'm gonna add some more brown because I don't think it's dark enough. Let's go big or go home, guys. I'm going in. So I'm taking this brown from this Inglot palette that I have. No idea what color it is. It's just a brown color on the lid. 
Okay, that wasn't the color that I wanted. I'm gonna use the color Sable. And I'm gonna put that on top here. Take this brush that I used before and I'm gonna blend that out. And then I'm just gonna take my clean brush and blend that out as well. So there's new harsh lines in there. Wow. So I'm gonna take, I think this champagne or this nude color, either one. Put that in my brow bone. Whoa, that's bright. Okay, we're gonna take that down. Make sure you blend that out really good if you <laughs> put too much. Do mascara and eyelashes too. So I'm gonna put on a coat of mascara. I'm gonna take this eyeliner and line the inside of my eye. Give it a little more black. I feel like that other eyeliner wasn't staying good. Best eyeliner ever that I've ever used, hands down. This is the best. This is uh, Urban Decay's 24-7. Whoa, my eyes are dark. And then I'm gonna smoke out this bottom lash line. All right, now that my eyes are super dark. <laughs> now I'm going to put some mascara on the bottom lashes. Probably should have put my concealer on first. Do I look 90s-ish yet? Select cover-up concealer. It's my fave. This is a little tiny beauty blender. Because they do such a good job of like precise concealer placement. And they're so cute. So why not? I feel like they don't soak up as much product because they're smaller. So you can get a lot more out of out of your product. Perfect for getting under your lashes if you've already put mascara on them. They're just perf. They're just perf. In the 90s, their skin wasn't really dewy. It was more of a matte finish. I'm gonna use banana powder because banana powder is very matte. So I'm gonna use some banana powder on a fluffier brush so I'm not packing it on. And I'm going to go underneath my eyes with it. Now I'm going to contour. Cheekbones are everything. Look at Naomi Campbell, Tyra Banks. Whenever they were modeling, they had them cheekbones sunken in. So that's what we're going to do. My black radiance powder like I always do. And really chisel my face with it. Makeup in the 90s was almost drag queenish. Almost, but it still had that feminine softness to it. So I'm going to really blend this out. So I'm going to use a mineralized skin finish in deep dark. It has a lot of red in it and that way it'll kind of warm up my face a little bit. Now we're gonna add blush. This is a lot of makeup. And last but not least, we're gonna do the lips. Different kinds of lips you can do. Um, one of the most popular ones was a dark outlined rim and a very nude center. Best to do a dark brown, which I'll probably show you in a second. So I'm gonna mute my lips out first, just so the color will come up true. Um, I'm gonna take my lip liner and cork. I don't need big lips, I already have big lips, but I'm gonna overline today. Just taking Riri's Talk That Talk on the outside. I'm gonna do Velvet Teddy by Matt. 
Now, another lip that you can do um, that works well for this, I know I already have a lot on, but I'm going to put Salem on top. And now you have a brown lip all over. So if you like more of a matte brown lip, let me know what you guys think. And of course, if you wanted to wear this look out, you could definitely change up the lip or do whatever you want. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please let me know. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.